Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm a knitted burger. This is my wife Daisy, a knitted coffee. You may be wondering how we met. And yes, it's crazy how we met. I know you may be thinking it's the usual lovey-dovey, love at first sight story, but now, you got it all wrong. It's not. Well, it's a nerve-wrecking story, actually. Now I'm joking. It's an intriguing how did this love even come to be story. Okay, let's get straight to it. One day I was working at your local fast food restaurant in my usual apron and hairnet combination when a customer got down from a Range Rover and walked inside the fast food. She wasn't the nicest of customers of if I'm being honest. Okay, she's actually one of the rudest customers I've ever encountered. She came into the store acting all moody, raising her voice and being very inquisitive about everything in the place. She complained about how we always lied about the ice cream machine not working and I understood how she felt because we've literally said that a couple of times. And it wasn't always true. That was one of the stuff she was upset at the most which I actually understood. Anyway, she said quite a number of things I didn't really understand. It seemed like she was the manager at this point. She said I wasn't professional and I countered her opinion with an um ma'am you can't just walk in and say stuffs like this and she was like excuse me? I'm from the Food Safety Management Corporation and you clearly don't know your job. You're fired. I was like what? In my mind, I was like, I'm definitely unlucky today. She stared right in my eyes and was, oh, what do you think this is? I was like, I'm nothing, ma'am. Well, I thought you were a random, unruly customer with a bad temper. She was like, did you just call me unruly? Oh, you got so much nerve. Is this how you talk to your customers? I was like, ma'am, you asked me a question. She was, oh, really? I'd like to speak to your manager and I gave her his number because he wasn't around. She called him and spoke to him about how I lacked emotional intelligence and I'm unprofessional. I mumbled to myself and sighed deeply. The manager demanded to speak with me and scolded me about my conduct, this and that. I apologized and handed back the phone to her. She folded her arms and said she was leaving. She went ahead to take my number that she would like to know more about our routines weekly for a report. I was like okie dokie. I was so over being judged by this woman. I wanted peace of mind. She left soon after. The next day she called me and we began talking. She started interrogating about when I clocked in at work and what I did after that. This, that, and the third. Then she asked how often I cleaned the ice cream machine. That almost made me hysterical, and then she asked me how my day had been. I was shocked she would ask that. I was hesitant at first, then I said to her, Ma'am, you wouldn't believe if I told and further told her how crazy my day has been. The unbelievable things that happened. Earlier today on my way to work I saw a clown juggling ice creams and then he mistakenly splatted it on the face of an angry cop. To my amazement and that of the passerbys, the cop wasn't pissed but appreciated it and licked it off his face and demanded more while the frightened clown was petrified. The man dabbed him up and told him he was a genius. On hearing this story, the food safety management woman Aka Daisy was so hysterical and laughed so much about. She seemed to have enjoyed my story. She told me I probably had a terribly funny day and I responded yes. We both laughed and bade ourselves goodbye. Moments after this phone call, I thought to myself about how interesting of a woman she actually is. I can't lie, I enjoyed talking to her. I wanted more of our interesting conversations that wasn't about interrogating and scolding me. Days passed and I hadn't heard from her or none of that. 
The next two weeks she pulled over in a Hellcat to visit this average fast food worker who happens to be me. Well, not like she came to visit me. She actually came to do her usual routine job. Arg. I said to myself as she began inspecting the place. Then she proceeded to ask if the manager had come today to give me any information. I responded no and she said okay. Then I thought about how much I wanted to talk with her more. She told me she would be living and I said alright ma'am, till when next you come around. She said goodbye and waved. As soon as she was about to step out, I yelled wait, please I'd love to talk to you. She turned around and asked really? About what? I responded uh. I'd really love us to know each other more. She smiled and said, no problem. Just put me on a call. I'd really love to go home now. We'd talk on the phone. I smiled and waved her goodbye. Later in the evening, when I got home, I called to ask how she was doing. She told me she was doing pretty good. Nothing really much. So we began to talk more about our work life and families. Then she proceeded to ask me a question which was related to my personal life. She asked me if I was married. I responded no and she said all right. Her reason for this was to not intrude in the way of my wife's time with this phone call. We kept talking about many things. Life in general, conspiracy theories, how I got my job and how I feel about it. It was a very interesting convo I really enjoyed all together. I yearned for more. When we got off the phone and finally said goodbye, I missed her already. I wanted more phone calls. I wanted to her to be by my side. I went ahead to tell her how I'd love us to go on a date. She was like, really? That's a pretty great idea. She said, okay. We both agreed on a date and a place. It was three days from the day we just spoke. Every now and then I'd check my phone to see if she's replied my text. I'd call her and if she doesn't pick I'd keep checking my phone if she'd call back. I was in love. Finally the day we were meant to meet came. I was so elated. We agreed to meet at one of the city's restaurants. The five star ones. I saved up for it. Newsflash she already had her cars. So she drove herself to the venue so the plan I had to pick her up with me holding the door for her did not go as planned. Anyways, I used an Uber when I went to pick her. Seeing how she was up and ready in her shiny green dress and her Mercedes Benz, I told the Uber to go and hopped right into her car. She gave me a warm hug and chuckled. She told me I smelled so nice. I appreciated the compliment and gave her compliments too. She drove us to the venue. Thankfully, I didn't have a fragile masculinity. I didn't feel some kind of way or my ego got hurt at all. We got to the venue and I opened the door and went to open the door for her, held her hand softly as she came down and locked arms with her as we walked inside. We sat down and soon the waitress came to ask about our order. My date ordered all what she wanted and I ordered mine. Guess what this amazing woman said right after? She said we should split the bill. I was happy because I was a tad bit scared she would be extravagant. We started to talk more and ask each other questions and we talked and talked then I told her how interested I was in a relationship with her. She giggled and told me she's been waiting for me to pop the question. She nodded in affirmation of agreement. I was so happy. I held her hand and kissed it. After an hour at the restaurant, we decided to go home. She dropped me at my place and went to hers. We spoke on the phone right after to find out how each other is doing. Thereafter we saw day in day out. After a few weeks I decided to quit my job and start my own restaurant and my sweet Daisy was ready to give her ultimate support. 
My very successful partner gave me the motivation to become successful, I won't lie. I wasn't fulfilled with my fast food job and decided I wanted something bigger because of how well this woman I loved was doing. My restaurant started off as a small business, but today it has grown so much that I make millions per month. Soon it became a year me and Daisy were in a relationship. One faithful day I decided to propose to her in the Maldives. She agreed, and we became soon to be married. We choose a place in Tanzania for the wedding. Three months later we did our wedding, with all family, friends, and loved ones present. It has been a lovely marriage ever since then. Check out our channel for interesting videos from me and my partner. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment on it. And if you'd love to see more from us, please make sure to subscribe. Subscribe to our Patreon too for the animated version of this video with more context and other benefits. See you in our next upload, guys.